A petite puma named Messi entered the world within the confines of a Russian zoo. Yet his early days were marred by a host of health issues. By the tender age of three months, Messi had already endured a challenging start to life. His sojourn at the zoo meant confinement in a minuscule enclosure. Coupled with malnutrition, resulting in muscle weakness and a troubling urinary tract infection. These ailments not only thwarted his prospects of relocating to another zoo or animal sanctuary but also led to discussions of euthanasia. Alexander and Maria Dimitriev, a Russian couple, became aware of the ailing cub's plight. After thorough consultations with fellow puma experts and extensive research on the care and upkeep of such creatures, they bravely approached the zoo with an audacious proposal, to adopt Messi. Much to their astonishment, the zoo consented to this arrangement. The Dimitrievs had long harbored dreams of nurturing a substantial feline. Like a lynx, they deliberated intensely for three days. Grappling with moral considerations and the practicality of keeping such an exotic pet. Maria conveyed. But if we hadn't adopted him. He wasn't going to survive much longer at the zoo. Caring for Messi posed myriad challenges. Extending beyond his inherent wildness. The feline required specialized medical attention and tender care. When the couple first brought him home. Messi's health was in such dire straits that he could scarcely walk. Alexander initially found it arduous to accompany Messi due to his ailments. Nevertheless, with several months of diligent vitamin administration, Messi gradually regained his ability to walk and even engage in modest leaps. Despite their dedicated nursing, Messi remained two-thirds the size of an average puma initially residing in a modest one-bedroom apartment. The couple went to great lengths to accommodate Messi's needs. They transformed their hallway into Messi's den, complete with arboreal elements, bamboo walls, and a concealed refuge. Remarkably, their bathtub became the largest kitty litter box on record. Subsequently, they moved into a more capacious abode, offering Messi ample room for movement. In spite of his dimensions, Messi exhibited typical feline behaviors, reminiscent of smaller house cats. His predilection for playing involved objects of substantial proportions, such as watermelons and pumpkins, rather than traditional yarn bowls. Amid a treasure trove of toys, Messi regarded a simple plastic bottle as the epitome of entertainment. Just like any other domesticated pet, Messi demands a considerable amount of exercise, akin to that of a dog. However, the process of training this sizable cat posed distinctive challenges. Initially, the couple attempted to secure the services of a professional handler for wild animals. But their efforts proved futile. Eventually, they located a dog training school that was willing to undertake Messi's training, resulting in his ability to respond to ten distinct commands. Following an extended period of rehabilitation, Messi now revels in a contented and flourishing existence within the embrace of a caring family. Nonetheless, it's important to note that certain advocates for animal rights and environmental conservation voice reservations regarding the couple's decision to harbor an exotic animal within their home, contending that Messi rightfully belongs in a wildlife reserve or sanctuary. However, it's crucial to recognize that Messi's alternative fate would have been euthanasia due to his severe illness at the zoo. Consequently, being rescued and nurtured was his sole opportunity for survival. There exist concerns from some quarters about the potential hazards associated with keeping a wild animal within a domestic setting. As the animal may, sooner or later, pose a threat to the owners or others. Nevertheless, a cursory review of Messi's YouTube channel videos reveals an extraordinarily close bond between Messi and Alexander. It remains uncertain whether this connection stems from a particular male camaraderie or if Alexander possesses an innate affinity for animals. What is evident? 
However, is Messi's profound affection for Alexander and his amiable disposition towards others. When an elderly woman rescued two motherless bear cubs. She had no idea she would adopt them as pets after years together. She wanted to release the bears back into the wild where they belonged. But they really proved to be pet material in an incredible way when she needed them most. Bonnie Hart was born and raised in Texas where she has lived her entire life. She is known to the people of her town. She is a brave, strong woman who lost her husband many years ago, but refuses to move out of the home they built together because it holds all the treasured memories of Bonnie's husband, Joshua. While he was alive, she has been a truck driver for decades and has done so well. She loves her job so much and refuses to quit, despite warnings from her children that she is too old to spend hours behind big wheels. They were also concerned that she would be lonely living alone. But aside from her impressive resilience, she never expressed interest in moving in with either of them. And she was also known for her warm personality. Known for her strong love for animals of all kinds. Bonnie is a frequent visitor to the local veterinarian for this reason. As she brings in various injured animals on a weekly basis. She's always on her back for stray dogs and is adored by neighborhood pets. So Bonnie's favorite rescue friend is her own dog. Billy. The German Schnauzer. She found Billy badly injured on the side of the road while doing truck deliveries a few years ago. Bonnie took him to the local veterinarian for treatment. He needed a lot of rest to fully recover. Billy needed a lot of rest to fully recover. She volunteered to take him in. Since then they have become best friends. Fortunately. It has returned to health. Looking out her kitchen window one afternoon when she heard excited barking from the backyard. She was surprised to see Billy approaching the house with his two new canine friends. Billy bringing his two new companions. She ran out the back door to get a closer look. But there was no doubt it was a bear. Terrified for her and her dog, Bonnie picked up the phone to call the local animal rescue. And if there's one thing she knows. It's that bear cubs always have a protective mama who always close to them. Billy and his friends didn't pay much attention to these details. Although they played happily in the backyard. She had been observing the animals without interfering because she did not want to disturb them. In fact. She didn't know what to do at all. And the cubs looked completely harmless. But it looked like they were having a rough few days. They were covered in dirt and scratched. And while they looked innocent. They were still bears. On the phone. Animal rescue officials told her they were likely the cubs of a grizzly bear that had been caught in a trap a few days earlier. Unfortunately. The mother bear bled to death before help could arrive. Bears are very rare in their area. So her death was very tragic. Bonnie knew that if these cubs returned to the forest. They would not be able to survive on their own. They were small. Tired and weak. And looked like they hadn't eaten for days. Her heart breaks for the poor cubs as she wonders if they know their mother is dead. So she decided to try to help them and raise them. The first thing she has to do is try to get them clean. Surprisingly. When she hesitated out onto the lawn with the hose. They didn't cause any trouble. Bear and her dog seem to enjoy being sprayed. And it's like a fun little game for them. Bonnie knew exactly what the cubs liked to eat. And since she and Joshua had a little hunting experience. She made a quick concoction of softened puppy food and fish and served them in a bowl. The two bears became such an important part of Bonnie's family that she named them Ban Ban and Stone. Everyone is used to Bonnie adopting many stray dogs but for her the bears were definitely next level. Because Bonnie loves these bears very much. And she is very protective of them. She knew they were still dangerous animals. They were always climbing trees in the backyard. Having as much fun as they could. But she didn't trust them not to chase passersby. 
So she kept watching them and Billy tried to keep up with them, but after living with Bonnie for about four years they have grown from bear cubs to adult bears and Bonnie will not be able to fight them if a dangerous situation arises. This is very scary for many people. Billy had tragically passed away from cancer a few months ago. And it was just her and the bear. And she knew she had to get them out of here as soon as possible. Bonnie was on a long truck trip one day and wasn't feeling well. And when she got home eager to get back to her evening work. She thought it was just fatigue. The next morning. She didn't feel much better than the night before. But she went about her day's work in the afternoon as usual. Bonnie was out in the backyard with the bears. Knitting in her favorite recliner on the porch and watching them play together. Climb trees. And push each other. She didn't know what horror was going to happen hours later. And after a while. Bonnie got up and went into the house to take a nap. Because she was still not feeling well. She only took a few steps in the direction of the house. When she suddenly fell down and fell hard on the ground point two bears rushed to her side and tried to nudge her awake. But she did not respond to their touch. They do a truly incredible thing. Ban Ban rushed to the neighbor's house next door. Which he was quite familiar with. While Stone sat beside Bonnie and continued to push her. Fortunately. The neighbor. Mr. Miller was at home and was about to go out when he heard a loud roar coming from the yard. He recognized the sound of a bear and initially feared that the neighbor's pet had become feral and was coming to attack him when he went out the door to face it. He found Ban Ban pacing up and down incessantly. Apparently wanting him to follow him as soon as he saw that he had the human's attention. The bear immediately turned and started running home. Mr. Miller hesitates for a second before following it. And when Mr. Miller tails Ban Ban to Bonnie's house. He finds her lying unconscious on the floor with rocks beside her. He immediately called 911 for help. And paramedics arrived shortly after and took the elderly woman to the hospital. Bonnie was treated in the hospital for about a week. And when she finally got home. The bear nearly held her in his arms. Mr. Miller told Bonnie that. Thanks to the bear. He had plenty of time to get there for help. The old woman was amazed at their fidelity and decided that she would keep them as long as time allowed. After all. They really became her pets. Now. What do you think about adopting wild animals as pets? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.